the brain doesn't know what hits it. And so it doesn't matter whether someone's playing football or they're a boxer. Uh, it's this repetitive hit that seems to set in motion this cascade of events in the brain that eventually lead to the slow destruction of the brain tissue. And so the disease seems to start earlier in life at the time of being hit. And oftentimes there's no symptoms for years or decades after the person stops getting hit. And so we've seen CTE after death in a variety of people, not just football players and not just boxers. It's been seen in soccer players, people who just did a lot of heading up the ball and not necessarily had any concussions or, or brain injuries. It's been seen in hockey players. It's been seen um, in uh, bull riders. And it's also been seen in people who weren't doing athletics. Um, sadly, it's been seen in a woman who uh, sadly was the victim of domestic violence and had her head beaten. It was seen in a, a dwarf clown who had been thrown back and forth over and over again. So the brain doesn't know what's hitting it. But what we do know is that it requires this repetitive jolting of that brain inside the skull moving rapidly and that repetition seems to st start the disease going but it's not until the brain tissue starts getting really ravaged by it that the symptoms begin.